Hey guys, I'm sorry it's been a crazy few weeks I haven't made any videos because the animal yard has been crazy packed with the coronavirus. So I'm finally going to finish this video. Um, so um, basically I want to chat with you guys about how to groom your pet at home and why it's important to do this. Um, a lot of long-haired animals need to be groomed regularly, whether that be brushing or trimming them. Um, a lot of small breeds need to be taken to a groomer, but if you are willing and wanting to learn how to um, groom your pet uh, at home, I am going to make a video based on this. Now, if you feel that you are not experienced or that you may hurt your pet or that you have hurt your pet, please stop and go to a professional. I work at an animal hospital and we use uh, hair, uh, hair clippers a lot. Um, so I've, I've gotten pretty good experience on how to trim a pet safely without injuring them. Now, um, I'm going to start off with a story about Ducky, my current animal. He came into my hospital um, as a stray. Basically, the woman that brought him in was a good Samaritan. She said she saw him come up in the driveway uh, of her driveway on a camera, thought it was a cat, went outside. It was a terribly matted dog. Uh, Ducky was horribly, horribly matted. One of his front arms couldn't even extend fully. There were just, you know, golf ball and baseball size mats all over his body. We had to, it took us an hour and a half to shave him. And mind you, he's only 10 pounds now. Uh, he was emaciated at the time, so um, he was only five pounds at that time. You know, little street trash goblin that I love to death now. Uh, I remember at one point we had shaved into his coat, and uh, there was literally like a little um, a wasp or hornet butt stuck in his coat. Like the 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 bug couldn't even penetrate through his hair, and it died in his crazy crazy max um, this poor little guy I swear he had eye goops that had like dreadlocked into um, into these nasty little face goopy dreadlock nasties yeah it was it was sad this was two days before Christmas so of course you know in my very loving heart I, I couldn't see him going to a shelter or not having a home a few days before Christmas. So now he's mine forever. Uh, I love him to death. Anyways, so we trimmed him, we gave him some IV fluids, put him on some medications, um, and I just started feeding him regularly. He's, he's awesome now. Oh, nice try, nice try, nice try. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, donkey. What is it? Oh, is your ice cream? Is your ice cream? So, for clipper care and um, how to use clippers properly, a lot of men know how to use clippers because they use them regularly um women we don't really ever need to use them so something you should know about clippers okay this part this is okay you trim this way you i've seen people do this you typically do not want to go like this that's when it becomes unsafe um that's when it literally can cut them the, the blades of the clippers are right here, so this is the sharp part, this is the part that trims the hair. Going this way is going to clip the hair. Um, depending on the quality of your clippers, these are kind of cheap. You want them to go down, not this way. This is when we can cause some cutting. 
uh, we can we can make our animals bleed if the clippers are going down so when you're trimming you want it to go like this on the skin a lot of these clipper uh, guards and stuff are really good to use especially if you don't want to trim them all the way down I like to trim ducky all the way down because he has such long hair and it grows really fast um, so I typically trim him pretty short, but with Shep, I also groom him. Um, now, some long-haired coats you don't want to trim, such as Huskies, German Shepherds, things like that, unless they have hot spots or medical issues. Uh, he actually has an undercoat that grows back really quickly, um, so it's not bad for him, especially in this Texas summer heat that I live in. I like to groom him during the summertime so that it's, he's not miserable. But back to the clipper guards. So these are going to give you a little bit of room um, and, and keep, I mean, you can't really trim this way. So like clipper guards are really safe. Um, the only way to use them is to trim the way that you should be trimming. So clipper guards are awesome using clippers. They get hot. So, you know, at animal clinics, we have cool loop spray to keep the keep the function of the clippers running really fast and really smoothly but also it cools down the blade one thing to know is that if it does become hot you can burn your animal called clipper burn it's actually pretty typical but you should definitely be aware of the heat when you're using clippers as for blade upkeep you should always be brushing um, and you know getting all the hair out of the clippers uh, towards the end or beginning of every time that you groom you should always oil and spray down your clippers so that you know it's still functioning properly um, when you do put clipper oil on the clippers they should always be on so you turn them on spray it on there you're done you're good to go the thing to know about trimming your animal, it's very, very easy to injure them with clippers. So you want to be very, very careful. Um, with mats especially, the skin is literally, it's being pulled taut with hair. So, and mats are so terribly painful. Um, so the, the mats, you know, they ball up like a little, they ball up like a dreadlock and pull the skin. So when you're trimming off mats, it becomes really, really tricky. You don't want to, you don't want to cut the skin, and it's very easy to do so with mats. If you are uncomfortable with trimming off a mat of your animal, take it to a professional, take it to your local veterinarian or your local groomer, and they can help you out. So with my animals, they're used to me dealing with them just one on one. Um, and trimming them, doing their nails, things like that. Sometimes animals can be pretty naughty uh, and move a lot. Not even naughty, they're just dogs, okay? But if they do move a lot, they need someone to restrain them in order to have a safe grooming session. So you might need extra hands, maybe your aunt, uncle, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the case is. Important parts to trim regularly, if you, let's say, your pet doesn't have any mats, you're just doing a regular monthly like cleanup on your animal and uh, you just want to know uh, what needs to be trimmed. So obviously the whole body should be trimmed, but there are certain areas that are really good to upkeep, such as sanitary cleans, so around the penis area, around the anus area, um, that way fecal matter and urine is not getting caught in their hair it gets really gross but i i mean poor ducky i you know shave right down his tail all the way down so that we don't have to worry about dingleberries so a really important place for me to trim ducky is between the eyes um because he does get eye boogers really regularly I don't like those crusty. You don't really want to use clippers around the eyes, especially if you are possibly going to cut your animal's eye open. That, ah, mm, not okay, not okay. Ulcers are really bad. Um, cuts on the eyes are really bad. So, 
again if you feel like you are not competent in trimming your animal don't do it just don't do it now also i like to trim in between my dogs or like under the pads uh of feet um because whenever they start having a lot of hair built up under there it's hard for them to grip it's hard for them to run and then also we have to deal with those mats again um so try to keep those areas nice and hair free as well when it comes to mats okay so these things can get so bad they cause skin irritation which leads to infection which leads to lesions and this can even get into you know these mats can get into the bone they can cut off blood supply um, sometimes this has been so severe that animals have to get amputated like their their legs amputated because the mats become so bad just be aware if you aren't wanting to go through all of these these things you should probably not get that breed of dog. But just like with our nails, you know, there's that clear area, and then we get to the skin. You don't want to, you don't want to trim the top of your toe off. That's what happens. Uh, show clippings, things like that, are kind of inhumane. I do believe that Sheppy used to have that done because every single toe he cries out, even if nothing happened. He's so traumatized. So we just do it at home, just me and him, um, not at the clinic, because he's so terrified of me. So when we look at this, right, we have a little pink toe in here, and then the quick. And that's as far as you can go, obviously. You don't want to trim off the front part of the toe. So when we trim that, yeah, I'll go ahead. Now, like clipping cat toenails, hi. Clipping cat toenails is, I mean, if they don't have scratching posts and stuff like that, is important, but you wanna pull, push the toe out, you just push a little pad, and the nail will pop out. Okay, you got the rest of them? Yeah. That's a good boy. Great baby, so brave. So brave boy. Okay, give us your foot. I know. Ew. I'm gonna grab a white. I'll show you what a quick looks like. There's a there's a little curvature um, up to the point of where the toe is and starts to be placed. Um, you are good to trim all of that all of that curved area but once it stops being curved and there's not a hollow point on the inside of the nail 
that's where the toe is. Stop, stop there. If your dog's toenails are still an inch or two longer, even after that, it might be best to take it into a veterinarian, have your pet sedated maybe, and have them clip the toes all the way down. I could never do that. I know some people do. Um, but then, you know, the problem is too, if their nails are too long, they can grow into the pads, which is a whole nother issue of infection, um, of, of, it's, it's not okay. Think they, they can't walk, um, their bones start to grow that way, you know, like they start getting arthritis. Just pay attention to toes. Uh, it's really good to have pets socialized at a young age. So if you have a puppy, if you if you have a puppy, if you buy a puppy, um, and it's your first pet, you know, get them really used to things like that. Bathing, toenail trimming, um, do those things regularly so it's not a scarring event or they're so upset about that moment that you can't do it regularly. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. And you get him with the Stars jersey. Get him with the Stars jersey. <laughs>